And I, I would like to ask Filipos Tsiboglu, the uh, president, the director of the National Library of Greece, who is uh, uh, a co-organizer of the event and a host of this event in this amazing building, to say his words. Dear Minister of uh, Education Research and Religious Affairs, Professor Gavroglou, dear distinguished speakers, dear guests, dear colleagues, welcome to the new premises of the National Library of Greece here in the Stavros Niarchus Foundation Cultural Center for the first international open science fair. As you will probably notice the next days, there are not yet any books on the shelves of the National Library. Okay, okay. No conclusions. This is because we are in a transitional period of moving collections, people, infrastructure, and services from the old monumental building in the center of Athens with its physical restricted capabilities because of the age, more than one year old building, to this building with open horizons and open capabilities for the development uh, of the National Library and the library network of the country. We have been preparing for this transition since the last three years, but it is not a case of a simple removal, a transportation of things. In parallel, and this is most important and most difficult, believe me, we prepare ourselves, our partners, our audience, our potential users, our scientific community, our society, our supervising and funding authorities for our transition in space, in time, and in mode. This is a new era for the National Library, not only because of the challenge of the new building, but mainly because of the changes in the paradigm of the scholarly communication, a fact that is common to all research libraries all over the world. The last 20 years, libraries have been entered in a new era of experimentations, passing from the sequence of transformational procedures, from the role of an institutional subscriber to restricted number of scientific journals, to the formation of national consortia, and the big deal of massive license agreement with the greater publishers and access to thousands of the journals. The next step, from the green and gold road to open, of open access journals, to the setup of open repositories, from author's pay models to hybrid model, from clause 39 for the mandatory dissemination of papers produced under the funding of uh, EU, to open data and open science. Dear colleagues, libraries are not dealing with books or journals or newspapers or posters or music notations or ephemera or statistics or financial scientific surveys. Libraries are dealing with a collection, organization, preservation and dissemination of recorded information either in the form of written knowledge or structured data or meaningful symbols. Information is not simply crucial, but it is vital for the progress of the humanity and our society. But there is no information without being communicated to human beings that need to underst understand it. This is openness. Open science is a new paradigm that has to overcome a number of multi-level resistant structures concerning people's attitude, embedded practice, infrastructures, roles, interests, privileges. It is a really hard task for all of us, but it's worth our personal and coordinated efforts because the progress of our societies worth our personal and coordinated efforts. Thank you very much.